In this episode, I'm gonna show you my reading list for 2021 coming up. Rising to be. Rising to be productive. Rising to be organized. Rising to be inspired. Who are you rising to be? New podcast every Tuesday, new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to the Rising to Be show. The only place on the internet where I help you rise to be who you want to be. Helping you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday on my channel. Check out my podcast, Rising to Be, every Tuesday and my Patreon for exclusive and early access content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com forward slash rising to be. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that more people like you can be a riser. Stop being fake and click like, it's free, I promise. And click the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. Sometimes YouTube likes to hide my videos if you don't also click the bell, so make sure you do that as well. So let's get into this episode. Are you tired of 2020 and want to start creating a better life in 2021? Then check out my goal setting workbook to help you create the life you want in 2021. Write the vision and make it plain. Happy with chapter 2 verse 2. Available now in my Etsy shop, Rising to Be. Save 20% off your order using code GOALS21. Keep rising to be who you want to be. Today is National Library Shelfie Day, which is why in today's episode I'll be showing with you my reading list for 2021. Now without further ado, the first book I have for you is One Goals. How to get everything you want faster than you ever thought possible. Brian Tracy. When Brian Tracy said you become what you think about most of the time, I feel that it was completely true, but it was also refreshing to hear from someone else. Especially when he said that worry is a form of negative goal setting. This made me more conscious of when I often think negatively or think of worst case scenarios. The way that Brian Tracy explains this in his book seems like there is no way you can fail unless you refuse to put in the effort. Or if you decide that trying again isn't worth it anymore when it actually is because in order to be great you need to keep trying until you achieve the goal you have set for yourself. He even gives the reader tools to use outside the book like the three P's, smart goals, list of obstacles, and rewriting them as a goal. What I loved about this book was how Brian Tracy says that everyone has the potential to be great. It depends on their mindset to achieve their greatness and that the people that we look up to that are great were once just amateurs before they became who they are today. This book allowed me to get real with myself and to stop blaming others for the failures I have made, but to instead stand up and come up with a plan to achieve my dreams. He who has no goals, goals nowhere, unknown. And so if you see fit that today is your day to change your life and not just your year, then check out my goal setting workbook today, available now on my Etsy shop, Rising to Be. Use code GOALS21 for 20% off. Share this awesome episode with someone you know who needs it to help them keep rising and be who they want to be. Book two, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Powerful Lessons in Personal Change by Dr. Stephen Covey. This book is bursting with tips to help you be more assertive and productive in your everyday life. Another narrative of today is to go the extra mile and never sleep to get things done. But when it becomes frequent, it can really affect you. Balance and stability is highly important. It's okay to pull an all-nighter every now and then, which is why you should create a schedule for yourself to separate your priorities like rest and eating so that you can move forward with your next groundbreaking idea. It's important to remember the three R's, which is recuperate, recharge, and refresh. Self-care is key when you're working nonstop and you can no longer recognize yourself underneath your dark circles. You won't be able to find the inspiration for your next big idea. Take control of your life and your future. Stop replaying your past and start working on the future life that you want. Stop reacting to others' influence and circumstances. Instead, focus all of that energy into changing your future. When you are negotiating, don't try to get the biggest piece of the pie. Instead, try to seek the vision that is fair for both parties. Oftentimes, when we try to negotiate, we want to leave the other person with nothing and only thinking of it from a win-lose perspective when it should be a win-win. By doing this, you will be able to create and keep positive relationships so that way your next negotiation with them will go smoothly. Do what's most important for the day and whatever has a deadline first. When that's completed, you can knock off things on your to-do list stress-free. 
I recommend even using time blocking to increase your productivity so that you can get more things done in your day. Oftentimes we think that multitasking will help get things done, but when we really just take the time to focus on one thing, we're able to accomplish more. And once you have accomplished your mandatory responsibilities, you'll be able to use that extra free time to get a side hustle or get started on your next big project. All of this and more is in this amazing book. Book three, Start With Why, How Great Great Leaders Inspire Everyone to Take Action by Simon Sinek. Based on Simon Sinek's TED Talk from nearly 10 years ago that still holds an impact today on how leaders inspire action in others. In his book and TED Talk, he uses famous examples of the Wright Brothers, Martin Luther King Jr., and of course, Apple Incorporated. The way this book is written makes you come face forward with the fact that if you don't have a purpose for doing something, it is doomed to fail. Which is why Simon Sinek's powerful yet easy to understand diagram of what how and why is so important and truly worth implementing. That is why I recommend that everyone who is anyone read this book or at least watch the TED Talk. The real reason I thought it was important for me to read this book well because having a YouTube channel and a podcast is honestly a bigger picture than I thought it was, not gonna lie. And I often find myself wanting to throw in the towel instead of working on my next episode for you all to see and hear. But I have also found that when I remind myself of the real reason I started Rising V, I immediately get new ideas for what to post. Which is why I believe adding Simon Sinek's book, Start With Why, should be on your reading list this year. If you've made it this far in this video, make sure that you've liked and subscribed to the show. Thanks so much for tuning in. Now let's get into our next book. Book 4, The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. This book is still impacting me every day in my life. I know for a fact that I will definitely be going to their 10X conference in the future. I was incredibly surprised to discover that Grant Cardone had suffered from drug abuse or that he had a twin brother and was considered the bad twin in his family. Which says a lot, only you can control your destiny. You don't have to keep the labels you've been given in life. You can actually rewrite them using 10x effort. I resonated so much with his story. Although I haven't done drugs, I can definitely relate to the way his family treated him. Grant often says that when he quit doing drugs, he was able to finally go all in on his business, career, and dreams. Basically admitting that drugs can deter you from getting to where you want to be in life and how a temporary high isn't going to improve your life for the better. He grew up in the South, Louisiana in fact, where people can have a stubborn mentality and not thinking that they will be able to improve their lives for the better. A lot of the things that I dream about for my life and Rising to Be I often get told by my own family that I won't be able to do that simply because I'm black, a woman, and not rich. A great way to keep up your motivation is by reminding yourself of why you started like Simon Sinek. And by doing that, it's like you're giving yourself a burst of energy to keep yourself going. Of course, when we face issues and struggles and we're trying to hold on, it can be hard. During times like this, a vision board can definitely come in handy. Check out my vision board below if you need any help making a vision board for the new year. And no, it's not too late to make one. It's never too late to make a plan to achieve your goals ever. But this book makes me feel like all these struggles will be worth it in the end because I won't be suffering forever. Soon my vision board dreams will be my reality. I can't just rely on wishful thinking. I have to put forth some sort of effort to get to where I want to be and so do you. Check out this book. Book 5, The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. I strongly recommend reading this book if the events in 2020 attack your finances or even your job security. I think we all got to see just how important it is to make sure your finances are in order. Especially if you may have spent a little bit more than anticipated with some of these amazing Black Friday sales we just had. But from reading this book, it has honestly changed the way I look at my money and even planning for my retirement. This book shows you how to add purpose to each and every dollar you have. The book talks about planning the month in advance with a thorough budget. And I have to say it definitely works. It also makes me feel like more of an adult by creating a budget and sticking to it and making sure that I plan for my future by setting up an emergency fund. Because whether I'm ready or not for bad things or emergencies, they will still continue to happen. And in order to take care of them, it's important to have money set aside for these situations. And even starting early by saving for retirement. Because 
because apparently the earlier you start, the more money you will have saved up for when it is time to retire. Which is important to me because I definitely don't want to be working a minimum wage job when I am like 89 years old, when I should be taking it easy and vacationing all around the world. As crazy as it may sound from reading this book when they talked about getting through the baby steps and no longer owing people money is freeing, I was definitely on board. Debt can oftentimes break up marriages and of course cause a lot of stress on someone and I have to agree. Because although I just graduated college, I always had that thought in the back of my mind about having to pay back all of this money that I borrowed to invest in myself and my degree. It's like basically having a rain cloud follow you around. I know that I am definitely going to pay off this debt using the debt snowball plan. And there is just something inspiring about knowing once I pay off this debt, I will have much more freedom and more control of my money. I would be able to give to people in my life and to go on shopping sprees without looking at the price tag or thinking about all of the money that I just spent and to help me definitely step up into the investment world without losing all the money I invested and making sure that I will actually see a return or dividends from it. All this and more is in this amazing book. So now I'll be sharing with you five books that are on my reading list for 2021. Let's get started. So the first book I have is The High Achiever's Guide to Happiness by Vance and Carol Ann Caesar. This book is apparently a go-to resource for those looking to develop themselves. Vance and Carol have heavily researched high performers, which helps the reader on our personal vision, goals, and engagement. And there are also writing prompts to help you shape your happiness and unlock your wild wow moment while reading. Book two, The Purpose Drive Life, What on Earth Am I Here For by Rick Warren. Your self-development journey should be more focused on your character than anything else. Things like overcoming bad habits, wealth, and your success. It's important for all of us to live a life of purpose and life is easier with it. It gives us a foundation and grounds us, giving us a bit of clarity on who we should be and what we should do on earth, helping us to improve our choices in life, whether that be in business, relationships, and of course life. Book three, The One Thing, The Surprisingly Simple Truth Behind Extraordinary Results by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan. This book has been highly talked about in my circle of friends and it is considered a must read in the self improvement category. This book is for those who want to have mastery over their career and their life, which is exactly what I want. I don't know about you. It's about focusing on just one thing for every single area of your life, which is a complete change of pace since in our world today we are always busy multitasking, helping you to simply focus on the important things and of course how this will help you to achieve your goals. Book 4. Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. This book can help you with understanding critical thinking in so many ways and change the way you think about thinking. Allowing you to have more clarity in your thoughts, this book has been known to give the reader huge benefits in how they think. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. I hope this episode was helpful to you. Let me know down below in the comments what tips you'll be using or what books you'll be reading in the new year. If you have an episode idea on what you would like to see in the next episode, let me know down below in the comments or in your podcast review. And don't forget to download my free monthly motivational wallpapers for your computer and phone. The monthly theme for the month of February is the month of welcoming love and opportunities. And you can get that for free once you join my Patreon down below. And because I love you all, I will be doing a giveaway this February, so stay tuned. Now back to the episode. Book 5, Drive. The Surprising Truth About What Motivates Us by Daniel Pink. This book has been highly recommended to me since I've graduated college. It's engaging for the reader, giving effective strategies and tools to help the reader greatly improve their ability to share their background and achievements without sounding like an arrogant know-it-all. And of course, sharing scenarios and stories that can back up their claims, which is beyond helpful for entrepreneurs and employees. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I just want to share the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day comes from Techno IDC. Really helpful for all. Two thumbs up. Keep making these type of videos. Thanks so much for your comment, Techno IDC. Want to be featured as the next comment of the day? Simply leave a comment on a YouTube video or leave a review on wherever you listen to podcasts. Now back to the show.
Remember, as we rise to be, we are becoming who we want to be. I am Christina B. Rising, and I will always be rising. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday on my channel. Check out my podcast, Rising and Be, every Tuesday, and my Patreon for exclusive and early access content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com forward slash rising and be. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that more people like you can have access to content like this. And I'll see you in my next episode. Check out the upcoming playlist filled with content to help you keep rising and be who you want to be. Bye, risers. Do you want even more Rising to Be in your life? Then join the Rising to Be Patreon. It helps you support the channel and other forms of content. There's three tiers to choose from, starting as low as $4. So here's a breakdown of tier one. You get access to the monthly wallpapers for your computer and phone to keep you motivated and inspired all month long. You get to choose one monthly video topic and of course you get a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier two has access to monthly wallpapers. You get to choose one monthly video topic, early access to videos, and of course a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier 3 has access to the monthly wallpapers. They get to choose two monthly video topics and one podcast topic. Early access to videos and podcasts, a Patreon shout out in my next video, and of course exclusive access to my printable collection from my Etsy store, Rising to Be. And it's only available through Patreon and Etsy, so this is something you really want to jump on. There are three tiers to choose from. I plan on adding even more as we go along. So I hope you'll consider joining the Patreon risers. Keep rising to be who you want to be.